kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's go. Before we begin our story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today, we are going to read the book, The Magic School Bus Inside a Hurricane. Are you ready? Let's begin. Have you heard about our teacher, Miss Frizzle? Her clothes are wild, her school bus is wacky, and her class trips are weird. Whenever we study something in her class, we get into it in a really big way. Class, to understand weather, we have to know about the sun. It's a hot topic. We were learning about weather. Absolutely everything in our room was about rain or snow or sun or wind. Every kid in the class was doing a weather project. You were even listening to weather reports on Mrs. Frizzle's radio. At my old school, we didn't have all these projects. At my old school, our teacher didn't dress that way. So we weren't surprised one morning when Miss Frizzle said, It's a perfect day for our trip to the weather station. We'll meet a team of weather forecasters. We'll learn about our atmosphere. Miss Frizzle says we have to know about air to understand weather. I can't see it. And we have to know about water too. We hadn't finished our experiments about air, but with Frizzy at the wheel, we were going, ready or not. Sorry, I can't go, Miss Frizzle. I have to sharpen my pencil. But Arnold, maybe we'll have a real adventure. In that case, I have to sharpen several pencils. In no time, we were riding along in the old school bus. We were trying to get some music on the radio. We didn't see Miss Frizzle turning a strange little dial on the dashboard. We didn't notice that the bus was changing. Wind is just air that is moving, children. Listeners, winds are picking up speed. That radio won't play music. All it does is get the weather. It figures. All of a sudden, Dorothy Ann said, Look! We couldn't believe it. We were all wearing flying suits. We were sitting in a basket. The bus had turned into a hot air balloon, and we were about to lift off. At my old school, we never went up in hot air balloons. Sounds like my kind of school. We'll be using this gas burner to heat the air in the balloon. We started going up, and Miss Frizzle said, Did I mention, children, that hot air rises? Class every day all over the world. Scientists send up special balloons to take weather measurements. We're going up. Wow! We rose higher and higher, even though hot air was filling the balloon. The air around us was growing colder. We had to put on warm jackets. It's cold up here. You're not afraid of high places, are you, Arnold? That radio spoke to me. How did it know my name? I knew I should have stayed home today. Warm air rising from Earth carries lots of water vapor molecules. Miss Frizzle continued. As the air rises, it cools down. The water condenses in the air and forms clouds. Did you bring your raincoat, Arnold? Tell me this isn't happening. We drifted into the center of a cloud. Miss Frizzle was right. It was damp in there. The cloud was made of tiny water droplets hanging in the air. When is that teacher bringing her class? Not till later. Much later. Inside the cloud, droplets began coming together. They formed bigger and bigger drops. As the drops became heavier, they started falling. It takes thousands of droplets to form just one raindrop. Most classes stay in on rainy days. Not Miss Frizzle's class. Down below, the weather forecasters were standing in the rain. 
They didn't see us inside the cloud, but we could hear their voices. One of them said, I hope the teacher knows there's a hurricane watch in effect. Check out my hurricane watch, Arnold. Get it? Hurricane watch. I'm pretending I can't hear. As usual, Miss Frizzle paid no attention. She turned off the fire and more hot air rushed into the balloon. As we rose above the cloud, the wind started pushing us south. Before long, we had traveled thousands of miles. Miss Frizzle said we were above a tropical ocean about 500 miles north of the equator. Now look at that water! We can go swimming and wind surfing and snorkeling. Below us, blue-green waves were sparkling on a sandy island. Palm trees were waving. It looked like a vacation paradise to us. But Frizzle said, Class, we have now arrived at one of the world's hurricane breeding grounds. Nearly all hurricanes get started over warm tropical oceans, kids. I've heard that hurricanes are dangerous. So Miss Frizzle is taking us to one? She would. Class, remember that as hot air rises from the ocean surface, the water vapor in the air condenses and form clouds, said the frizz. Down below, more hot air rushed in from all sides to take the place of the rising air. In the middle of the rising air, a column of sinking air formed. We started sinking with it. A hurricane is starting. A balloon is falling. Oh no! Oh dear, said Miss Frizzle. The balloon must have sprung a leak. Hot air was rushing out and the balloon is plummeting fast. Jump ship, class, shouted the Frizz. She jumped overboard and we went after her. Right away, we knew it was a big mistake. Hurry up, Arnold. I can't look. Follow me, kids. The wind was blowing the clouds into a huge circle. The storm is starting to take on a typical shape of a hurricane. Isn't it fascinating, children? shouted Miss Frizzle. Help! We're going around in circles. I'm getting dizzy. It was more than fascinating. It was terrifying. We were caught in the edge of the storm, blowing around and around in a giant whirlwind. That whirlwind was a hurricane. A typical hurricane has a lifespan of about 10 days. Listeners, we'll be telling you about the whole hurricane. Maybe its batteries will run out soon. In the clouds around us, just balls of lightning were flashing. We thought it was all over for us. But then we saw the bus again. It had become a weather plane, the kind that explores hurricanes. We tumbled into a rescue chute and fell onto the plane. That is, the bus. Um, we mean the plane. During a thunderstorm, lightning can make more electricity than a big city uses in a week. It's our bus. It looks different. Let's get on now. Come back. Thunder crashed and boomed. We covered our ears. Miss Frizzle turned the plane, and we headed straight toward the center of the storm. We had a feeling someone was missing. We are now experiencing the hurricane close up, but not to worry, Arnold. I'm sure you'll be fine. Why does everything always happen to me? We flew through miles of thunderstorms, and Miss Frizzle took roll call. Guess who was missing? Arnold! He had fallen and missed the plane. Arnold fell! Arnold is now experiencing the hurricane close up. But not to worry, Tim. I'm sure he'll be fine. Poor kid. Oh, no. Miss Frizzle knocked Arnold absent and flew straight into the storm. We're flying into the hurricane. What a disaster. Why does everything always happen to us? We'll be seeing stormy seas today, Arnold. Seeing stormy seas? And touching them. Smelling them. Oh, tasting them. The farther we went, the faster the winds blew. At last, we came to the inner hurricane and entered the high wall. 
a ring of heavy clouds around the storm center. And the eye wall, the winds were blowing in the fastest yet, and the rain was coming down in streaks. The eye wall is the fiercest part of the hurricane. We're encountering turbulence clouds. Turbulence is when the air is violently disturbed. I am violently disturbed. All around were columns of air called hot towers or chimneys. They were sucking up more and more hot moist air from the ocean. The heat energy from the air was feeding the storm and making it stronger. The plane was shaking, and so were we. Come on, shake up. Please stay seated, class. Hey, kid, how did you get out here? It's a long story. Waves will be as high as a house. The wind speed is 80 miles per hour here. Then, suddenly, everything was quiet. Class, we have entered the eye, or center, of the hurricane, announced Miss Frizzle. The ocean waves still crashed below and the winds howled outside. But in the eye, only gentle breezes blew. Up above, the sky was blue and the sun was shining. We relaxed and enjoyed ourselves. Peace and quiet, balmy breezes. We flew about 30 miles across the sky and then the frizz called out. We will enter the other side of the eye wall now. Don't go, we cried. But the plane was already on its way, back into the hurricane's fierce wind and rain. We're trying to reach land before the full force of the hurricane hits. Good idea. The hurricane is approaching back. There will be heavy flooding along the coast. The entire hurricane was moving across the ocean toward land, and we were going with it. In the right forward corner of the hurricane, as you're looking toward land, has the strongest wind and rain, and the highest ocean waves, shouted the frizz. Naturally, she flew directly into that part. The hurricane moves like a top spinning across the floor. It moves two ways. It spins around and it travels forward. Arnold should be reaching land any minute now. Let's take a spin. The hurricane should be reaching land any minute now. We must evacuate before the floods come. Tell me about it. As the hurricane approached land, the wind pulled up trees by the roofs and blew the roofs off houses. It also blew ashore a huge dome of water called the storm surge. The ocean rose 10 feet higher than usual, and on top of that, there were giant waves. We were horrified as we watched the storm surge sweep over the shore below. In 1900, more than 6,000 people drowned when a storm surge swept across Galveston Island, Texas, class. That was a long time ago. It wouldn't happen now. But that was nothing compared to the horror we felt when we heard the frizz shouting above the sound of roaring water, who seemed to be running out of gas, children. Sure enough, the plane was dipping lower and lower. As we fell into the water, we saw Arnold waving to us from a nearby roof. Today, hurricane predictions save lives. That kid looks familiar. That me looks familiar. Arnold, we need to evacuate now! Somehow, Arnold managed to get on the plane before we were swept away by the waves at the front edge of the hurricane. The water was creeping up the windows. The plane was going to sink for sure. Then, we saw a dark funnel shape coming our way. We fell into the ocean. We flew into the eye. The fishing boat picked us up. The eye one was the worst. We thought we were corners. We thought we were gunners. We are gunners. I've seen that shape on TV, said Ralphie. I read about it in a book, said Keisha. The twister came right for us. The next thing we knew, it had picked us up, and we were traveling by tornado. Tornadoes often occur at the edges of hurricanes that are moving overland, class. A typical tornado has a short lifespan, only a few minutes. I think my lifespan just got shorter. After a while, we felt bump and looked around. The tornado had set us down gently. We were in our old school bus again, 
We were dressed in our regular clothes again. The hurricane was over, and we were at the gas station. Usually, the things that are picked up by a tornado are broken apart, but not always. Miss Frizzle filled up the tank and drove down the road as if nothing had happened. As I said earlier, class, we are on our way to visit a weather station, she said. Take our case, for example, we're all okay. Even the radio is still working fine. Here's a treat just for you, Arnold. Another weather update. That depends on what you mean by working fine. The weather forecasters at the station had a lot to tell us about hurricanes. We had a lot to tell them too. Hurricane winds swirl in a circle because of the rotation of the Earth. Hey, that's right. A hurricane dies as it moves over land because there is more hot, moist ocean air to fuel the storm. The kids know a lot about hurricanes, don't they, Al? That radio spoke to me. How did it know my name? I knew I should have stayed home today. Finally, we drove back to school and finished up our weather projects. Global warming could be more hurricanes, and they might be stronger. And now for some music. What? No more weather? Cool. All right. After the trip, we needed some time to relax. Miss Frizzle said we could have a party. We had great games, crazy dancing, and yummy snacks. And for a while, we didn't even think about Miss Frizzle's next class trip. You dance quite well for a radio. In Asia, a hurricane is called a typhoon. At my old school, our teacher never wore B shoes. Thank you for watching, hit that subscribe button, see you next time.